everybody, welcome to Brickford. My name is Mike and it is time for our another weekly news update. Now, this top story of the week is that we are having confirmed new Batman sets for the summer of 2017. But first off, let's check out this week's Amazon deals. All right, and the Amazon deals list for this week is pretty huge. Speaking of that, we have a lot of deals coming in the Star Wars department. The LEGO City team also got some good deals. The biggest one are related to fire and airport sets. From the Dimensions game, two packs are on sale, one of them being connected to the upcoming LEGO Batman movie, and from the Super Heroes theme, we also have three sets on a good discount. Additional themes with discounted sets include Ninjago, Minecraft, and Friends listed right here. As always, links to all discounted sets can be found in the video description below. And let us switch back to the first important news of this week, that is the new LEGO Batman movie sets for summer 2017. We are getting four new sets, namely Scarecrow Fearful Face-Off, Bane Toxic Truck Attack, Two-Face Double Demolition, and the most impressive one, the Batwing. Of course, as massive Batman lovers, we are getting all of them, mostly for the minifigs though, because in my opinion only the Batwing really catches the eye. All the other sets seem to be quite small for their prices, but time will tell as we all know that most of the Batman movie sets were overpriced slightly. And as usual, every set is getting at least one exclusive minifig, for us that is a reason enough to get all of them. And comparing to the previous leaks we had, I think there is gonna be one more set or at least a polybag with another character. Plus, probably an endless stream of Batman suits released in different sets, polybags or even keychains. <coughs> Well, this set's gonna be awesome, but we have more for you because the Nuremberg Toy Fair was held in Germany last week and we have a bunch of confirmed sets coming this year, so check those out! The Nuremberg Toy Fair is a big annual event and fortunately enough there is no uh, embargo or confidentiality on the pictures from the event. And starting off with the LEGO City, we are getting some cool sets, especially this uh, LEGO City bus. There is also a really cool return to the Coast Guard theme. Uh, we are getting a lot of boats, planes, helicopters, and I guess all those sets will work pretty well in our city that gets a shoreline really soon. You can also spot a new cargo terminal in this display window. What is also new is the City Jungle theme. We reported on the set names a few weeks ago, but now we can see the pictures. I guess that's what's going to replace the Volcano theme. And these new sets definitely have this exploration slash adventure vibe. Also waiting for those sets, maybe we can even get a small jungle place in our city. The architecture line is getting at least two new sets, the first one being the Guggenheim Museum that I have reported on last week. The second one seems to be the Triumphal Arch located in Paris, France. Next, the creator line is also getting expanded. We can see at least two new 3-in-1 creator buildings. If you follow our channel, you may know that we always get those to put in our city, so those are no different. Can't wait, but also there is a cool car and a space shuttle. So that seems to be the best creator mashup for now. The Duplo and Junior's lines are also getting expanded as expected and Friends line is getting somewhat of a winter theme sets. So I guess all the Friends lovers will be able to combine those sets with their Disney Frozen sets. And moving on into the superhero department, both DC and Marvel franchises are getting new sets, but these are yet confidential, we only know the set numbers. DC is getting 3 sets related to the Justice League, and Marvel is getting 4 sets in total, 2 of them connected to the Spider-Man Homecoming movie and 2 connected to the Thor Ragnarok movie. We will report on those sets as soon as the official pictures get released. The last thing worth mentioning from the Nuremberg Toy Fair is the Technic line. The pictures tell that we will be getting a 6x6 all-terrain tow truck, which is pretty cool, there is also some kind of a snow vehicle. One of the pictures shows some kind of a two-seater go-kart. And right next to it, there is something that looks like an airport fire crew vehicle. That proves that the Technic light right now is really in its heights. We are getting so many cool sets right now from the Technic that I just cannot count. And as we are in the new sets department, brick heads were officially announced. We reported on that a few weeks ago, but we have two more sets that were unveiled. That is the Beauty and the Beast brick heads. Check those out. So it is now official that the initial Brickheads launch will contain 10 figures. Joining our 8 previous ones from DC and Marvel Universe is the Beauty and the Beast. 
those are connected to the Disney feature animated film and will retail for $9.99 as every Brickheads figure. The Brickheads will become available on February the 15th for LEGO VIP members and on March 1st, 2017 for everyone else. As LEGO is advertising Brickheads as a completely new theme, I assume that we will have more characters to come in the future. Scarecrow Special Delivery Seems legit. Oh, um, and yeah, as we are in the set, still there were a lot of new stuff uh, last week and we have new Wave 8 LEGO Dimensions that's gonna be three sets with a completely new franchise. So let's report on that. And by new franchise, I mean that one of them is gonna be in a completely new setting, namely the Goonies. Yes, we are getting a level pack with those guys. It is gonna be set number 71267 and it will contain Sloth, Skeleton Organ and One-Eyed Willis Pirate Ship. As well, of course, as a completely new game level. Funny thing is that I am actually not very familiar with this uh, franchise, as I guess it was not very popular in Europe back in the days. But you guys can check out the official press release for this set in one of the links on the uh, video description below. And the next new Dimensions pack is a fan pack with Hermione Granger. It of course comes with a minifig of her and the bug big hypogriff. That was already rumored previously, but now we have a confirmation that Hermione will be joining Harry and the other guy from the Fantastic Beasts, I forgot the name of, uh, into the Dimensions lore. And the third announced Dimension set is a fan pack with Chase McCain. That is of course a Bruce Willis style LEGO City Cup that's gonna be using a number of city vehicles and powers to get through the game. On one of the screenshots, he even joins powers with Batman. According to the press release, all three packs will become available on May 9th, 2017. Jack, my buddy, what's up? No, I'm still hosting the news. Yep, yep, doing well. Yep, what? No, no, I'm gonna keep hosting. I'm gonna keep hosting. You can't do that. You're away. I'm here now. Yep. Yeah. Oh, um, I can hear you screaming. No. Oh, I'm losing you. I'm oh, I'm, I'm in a tunnel. Ba 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 beep beep beep. Losing you. Bye. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, new sets were in the previous news and from the LEGO company we have uh, more stuff to come. That is the LEGO Life app. Um, it was just announced and launched. It's gonna be a cool app, so check out some report on that. The LEGO Life app or LEGO Life Network is designed to be a safe social network for kids under 13. LEGO put a lot of promises on this one, mainly about the safety. It will be available for free on both iOS and Android uh, devices. And uh, according to the official press release, there is a lot of stuff that kids can do in the app, including quizzes, building challenges, creating digital minifigures and even more. One really fun feature of this uh, network is that there will be actual Lego characters in the network, so kids for example can befriend Batman, Aaron or Master Wu from Ninja Go series to be their friends in the app and to hang out with them virtually. I think that is a very neat idea to provide a safe platform for for kids to share their creations and connect to other small LEGO fans. So if you want to know more about the LEGO Life app and its vast list of features, be sure to check out the links in the video description below. LEGO brand was named one of the most powerful brands of 2017. It was actually placed on the first place by Brand Finance, a company that evaluates the world's biggest brands. That's right, LEGO was placed first on the world's top 10 most powerful brands list by Brand Finance and it received the Brand Strength Index score of 92.7, surpassing such companies as Google, Nike or even Ferrari. You can find the full report in a link below. Keep in mind that this ranking is about the most powerful brands. The report also has a list of the most valuable brands. And in terms of brand value, LEGO is positioned 196th, which is still very high for a toy company. Oh. And as a LEGO Batman movie is getting close to get into the theaters, there was also a teaser about the LEGO Ninjago movie. We should be expecting a trailer really soon. 
The British Board of Film Classification released some details on the Ninjago movie trailer, it's gonna be running for 2 minutes and 23 seconds, should be available somewhere next week. We also got a teaser poster and some information that the actual Ninjago movie will be taking place in the same universe as the Lego movie and the Lego Batman movie. That is quite interesting, I guess that means we're gonna be having ninjas and dragons in a modern world. Well, if the Batman movie will be any good, I will be seeing the Ninjago one probably too. And for all you LEGO VIP program members, we got the new calendar that is March 2017 and it has a lot of cool stuff going on. And the first graphic at the very top definitely shows that we are getting new Rogue One sets from Star Wars in the US. Those sets were already released in Europe, but we should be getting them in March. Also starting March 1st, LEGO brick heads will be available to the general public. VIP members will have access to that theme starting February the 15th. Also in March, every $35 purchase will get a free police helicopter. And I think that is the exact same guy that was released in 2017 police station set. And any Duplo purchase will get you a uh, My First Fish. March 7 and 8 will mark another monthly mini model build and March 4 and March 11 will have a LEGO Disney Beauty and the Beast building event. There is also a LEGO Duplo building inspiration event between March 12 and March 17 as well as the new Technic Tuesdays on March 21st and March 28th. As the LEGO Life app is launching, LEGO stores will be holding LEGO Life meetings on March 18th and March 25th. And another thing worth mentioning is that March 17th to March 31 are the VIP early access days, so that means VIP members will get access to some exclusive LEGO sets. We are not sure which ones those gonna be. And the last cool thing to notice is that we are getting 11 days of double VIP points between March 6th and March 16th. We're getting close to our airtime and for this last bit, let's check out the LEGO Ideas. If you don't know what LEGO Ideas is, that is a website where you can submit your LEGO project and if it gains enough support, that is 10,000 supporters, it can get approved and probably manufactured by LEGO. And this week brought a new project that achieved 10,000 supporters, that is the Bluesmobile by Kain Einfeld of the nickname Aini. As many of you may recognize, that is the iconic vehicle from the movie The Blues Brothers featuring John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd from 1980. This project was getting support for a long time, it started on June 10th, 2015 and I have to say I'm really happy that it gained support. I was a really big fan of the movie and seeing this in LEGO might be actually a very good idea. As the designer said in his description, the car is of the same or exact same scale as the Ecto-1 from Ghostbusters. This seems to be a pretty fun build and I guess it will involve a lot of custom printing as well as special fix for of course uh, Jake and Elwood Blues, the main characters of the movie. And I can honestly say that the vehicle catches the vibe of the movie perfectly but just by looking at it you can honestly just hear the soundtrack from this amazing film. So I just wish the best of luck for the designer in the review stage. And there is another project that caught my eye this week that is the Lighthouse by Robin Ann. And I think that this designer needs a lot more attention, he is the designer of three shoreline themed sets already, namely Boathouse Dinner that is standing just over 5000 supporters right now and the Dive Shop that is standing around 4000 supporters. The Lighthouse is his newest addition, it's getting support pretty fast, it's at 1500 supporters right now. And seriously, I would love any of his three sets to get passed to the review stage. Cause come on guys, those just look amazing. Full of details, great design. I'm kind of a bias because I'm already seeing them on the shoreline of our LEGO city. So if you really like Robin Ann's creativity and his work, be sure to support his projects on the ideas page. Links are in the video description below. I'm on air Jack. stop calling. And that would be it for this week's news guys, thank you so much for watching, remember if you like our content hit those like and subscribe buttons, there is also a small bell that you can hit to get notified when we put a new video up. Always remember that tomorrow is the Sunday mock episode, that is I'm gonna show you guys some mocks as well as your fan creations. So submit that to our email that's gonna be in the description below and without further ado thank you again so much for watching, this is Mike and I'll see you again on Brickbox. Cable boxes, earth. Whew. I'm done. Shut the hell.